Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the WIAC Federal Mathematics Past Questions and Answers. We will be looking at the SSE 1998 question number 10A. Right, so during the SSE 1998 question number 10A, they were given this expression or this equation to solve. So let's proceed to look at the solution to that problem. So we have the root of x minus 3 cubed minus 64 is equal to 0. Now, the whole idea here is we need to get rid of the root sign so that we can easily solve or simplify our equation. To do that, we need to first of all square whatever we have over here to get rid of the root sign. Now, if I square this term whilst um, everything is together here, it will make my calculation a little bit complex. So, I will move the negative 64 to the other side and square it separately so that it becomes easier. So, I maintain the root of x minus 3 here cubed is equal to 64. So, I send the negative 64 to the other side of the equal to sign. So, from here, I can easily square both. So, I have the root of x minus 3 cubed squared is equal to 64 squared. So this will nullify the root sign. Then I have x minus 3 cubed is equal to 64 squared will give me 4096 as my answer. Now, I can see that I need to find the value of x. But I have here x minus 3 cubed. Okay. Now, if I expand this bracket, it will make my calculation a little bit complex. What I will do is that I will take the cubic root of both sides so that I get rid of the cube over here. So if I do that, I have cubic root of x minus 3 cubed is equal to the cubic root of 4096. So this cube will cancel the cubic root. So I'm only left with x minus 3 is equal to the cubic root of 4096 will give me 16 as my answer. So all I have left is x minus 3 is equal to 16. So this is equal to s is equal to, I have 16 here, I send a negative 3 to the other side of the equal to sign so that my x will stand alone. So it becomes plus 3. So x is now equal to 19. So s is equal to 19 is our answer. But then let's verify and see whether this answer holds true. So let's verify. So verification. If our x is equal to 19, it means when we substitute it back into this expression, it should give us a uh, 0. Or if we substitute it into this side of the equation, okay, it should give us 64. So let's look at that. So we have the root of x minus 3 cubed minus 64 is equal to 0. Let's look at that. Now, when s is 19, we said x is 19, that was what we found. We have the root of 19 minus 3 cubed minus 64 to be equal to 0. So this is equal to 19 minus 3 will give me 16 cubed minus 64 is equal to 0. Now, 16 cubed will give me 4096 minus 64 is equal to 0. Now, the root of 4064 is equal to 64 minus 64 is equal to 0. Now, the 64 here minus 64 is 0, which is equal to 0. So, since substituting the value of x is equal to 19 into the expression over here or into the equation over here gives us 0, it means that our answer s is equal to 19 is correct so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye